All right, so last video we started with this matrix and we used the elementary row operations to solve this matrix um, eventually by putting it into row echelon form and then using back substitution. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the same matrix. Uh, we started here, we're just going to skip these steps because we've already done them and we're just going to write down where we ended in this part. So we had 1, 2, 3, and 10. And 0, 4, 5, 0, 4, 5, 13, and 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this here was row echelon form. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put it into reduced row echelon form, where instead of here in row echelon form, it was everything below the leading entries was 0. Now we're going to have everything below and above. Uh, the leading entries to be zero. So we're going to do it the same way that we were doing before using uh, the elementary row operations. So the easiest way to do it here is now that it's been put into reduced row, or sorry, row echelon form, is we're going to have uh, the whole bottom row will just be zeros and then a one at the end. So let's look at this and if we added uh, or subtracted, I guess, and, uh, five times row 3 from row 2, we're going to put a 0 here and that's going to help us start um, eliminating these ones because essentially we want this one, this one, and this one to all be zeros. So let's do that. We'll say um, uh, we can write it row 2 minus row 3. Okay, so what do we get now? We'll have <clears throat> well, the row, the th row 3 doesn't change, 0, 0, 1, and a 1. Now row 2, we're subtracting 5 uh, times, uh, sorry, we're subtracting, oh, my mistake, we are subtracting 5 times row 3, there we go, to get make this a 0. So we have 0, 4, 5, time, five minus 5 times 1, 0, and 13 minus 5 times 1 is 8. And, and then the top row was the same. It was 1, 2, 3, and 10. All right. So now we also, another goal of this reduced row echelon form is we want to put, we want all the leading entries to be 1. So what we can do here is we can multiply this, or sorry, multiply this row by 1 fourth or divide it by 4. So the next step we have is one fourth R2. So again, row one stays the same. One, two, three, and a ten. And now this one, zero times one fourth is zero. One fourth times four is one, zero, and we'll get a two here. And then the third row stays the same. Zero, zero, one, one. So the next step what we're gonna do is we want to start eliminating this one and this one. So let's do, I say, maybe row 1 minus 2 times row 2. See, and that will get rid of this 2 here. So we have 1 minus 0 is 1. We have 2 minus 2, because it's 2 times 1, is 0. And 3 minus 0, 3 will stay there. This is still, oh sorry, this is 10 minus 2 times 2, so we will get 10 minus 4, and this will actually become a 6. Alright, so then the bottom two rows stayed the same, 0, 1, 0, 2, and 0, 0, 1, 1. Alright, so our next step, we still have this 3 to address, so we're going to have, we'll go down here, and, and we'll say we want to do row 1 minus 3 times row 3, minus 3 times row 3. Okay, so we get 1, because it's 1 minus 0, 0 minus 0, so they'll stay the same. Now 3 times 1 times 3 is 0. And 6 minus 3 times 1, we get a 3 here. Okay, so then we haven't done anything to the bottom two rows, and we get 0, 1, 0, 2 and 0, 0, 1, 1. 
All right, so now look at this. We have our below all of our leading entries, we have zeros, and above all of our leading entries, we also have zeros. So this is perfect. This is in reduced row echelon form. And this is actually something really interesting. If you see here on the right side, we have the vector 3, 2, 1, and 3, 2, 1. And that was actually our solution by solving it the long way, by solving it using the system uh, of linear equations and doing back substitution. But here, if we just want to write a system here to just see what, what just happened, is, well, we'd have x, 1x plus 0y plus 0z is equal to 3 like that. Actually, let's write it all out, just so you see. 1x plus 0y plus 0z is equal to 3. And we have 0x plus 1y plus 0z is equal to 2. And we have 0x plus 0y, 0y plus uh, 1z is equal to 1. And so if we cancel out all these zeros, we will get x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2, and z is equal to 1. So there we did. There it is. We solved this, uh, we solved this augmented matrix uh, without actually, in this way, without actually doing any back substitution at all. We didn't have to write out the system of linear equations. This was just for show. So here you can see that if it's in this form, in reduced row echelon form, you can look and see, solve it right away by seeing what this vector is, and that will be the solution Again, the solution uh, to this to this augmented matrix is the vector three, two, one.